Microsoft now allows you to install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs, which means as long as you have TPM 1.2 and enough system resources to run Windows 11, we should be good to go. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can install Windows 11 24H2 on unsupported PCs. Now there are two ways you can install Windows 11 on uh, an unsupported PC. You can either make a registry key and uh, install Windows with the bootable media or the easier method is that you can just create a third party live installation media and use that to do a fresh install of Windows 11 which is uh, the way Microsoft recommends it because the live installer now no longer uses uh, security checks or uh, requirement checks to ensure that you're installing it on the right system. Now uh, to do this the first thing that we need to do is to open up a start menu search for command prompt and what we're going to do is that we're going to run a DISM command, which is DISM slash online slash get intl, intl. And you can see that my system UI language is English uh, US and system locale is also English US. And it's very important that you download the right language pack. Otherwise, you'll not be able to bring over your settings and uh, all of your app configurations when you upgrade. So now when you've done that, what you can do is head over to your web browser and download Windows 11. I'll leave the link for this page in the description below. But essentially, uh, we need to create, uh, get the ISO file. So just come all the way down to the ISO file section and click on download now. It will ask you to select a version. So we're just going to select multi-edition ISO for 64-bit devices. Click on download now. And now it's going to ask you to choose your... Uh, language and since we saw our language was english us we can click that click confirm and now you can just click this button to start the download once the download is complete i need you to go download rufus i will leave the link for rufus in the description below as well but essentially once you've downloaded rufus and when you run it the interface will look something like this now at this point you need to insert a usb drive it can be anything as long as it has 8 gb of space so as you can see here i've got my device inserted and in the iso i'm going to select disk or iso and then click on the select button now we'll go find our windows 11 24 h2 image let's double click on it this rufus will take uh, some time to scan the image and then it will automatically select all of the best uh, settings possible so we'll just give it a second here and there we go so uh, now you can uh, select your standard windows installation everything is selected uh, volume labels and everything we are ready to go so just click on start and when you click on start you will see this pop-up show up what this does is it customizes your windows installation so all you have to do is make sure that uh, you remove the requirement for 4gb ram secure boot and dpm and you remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account. Uh, everything else is uh, same. So you can create a local account with the same username that you're running current windows on. You can uh, get regional options and set them to the same values. So most of your Windows 10 experience, uh, if you're on Windows 10, just carries over to Windows 11 24H2. Uh, you can uh, disable data collections, which skips privacy questions, and then BitLocker uh, automatic device encryption will most probably already be uninstalled. So now that uh, you've done all of this, all you need to do is click on OK. And uh, then you can just get started with it. Uh, if you get a, a box uh, like this saying another program is accessing this device, you want to format it anyways, just go ahead and click yes and you should be good to go. That's it. That installation media will allow you to upgrade to and install Windows 11 without any issues. If that method does not work for you, we can go and down uh, sort of update Windows to Windows 11 naturally. Now to do this, you're going to have to make a registry change. So let's click Windows key plus R to open the run prompt. And in here, I'm going to type in regedit and press enter. Go ahead and click yes. Now uh, we need to go to a very particular registry path. I will leave the path once again in the description below. But essentially you need to go to local machine, then system, then 
setup and uh, you should see a folder here called mo setup all right now if you click mo setup and expand it you will see that there is not really anything here what we're going to do is right click in this space new create a d word and we're going to label this d word allow upgrades with an supported ppm or cpu make sure that you do not change the case of this all of this will be in the description below so you should be able to copy paste it right there once the key is made double click this and select one under value click ok and you're now good to go so we can minimize this head back to windows explorer and now i can just double click my iso to mount it in windows uh, do you want to open uh, this file uh, go ahead and click open and what this does is that it mounts that drive now what we're going to do is right click and then we're going to click on open in terminal now this will open this up in a powershell window uh, alternatively what you can do is that you can just press the start menu search for command prompt click on run as administrator give it the permissions it needs and you're good to go so now the first thing that we are going to do is type in our drive letter. Now you need to run a command. The command is setup.exe slash product is server slash compat ignore warning slash migrate drivers all. And now as soon as you hit enter, Windows 11 setup will start and then you can proceed as usual to install Windows 11 on your system. And that's that. That's how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology. Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.